Jackson Mayor Scott Conker and Memphis Mayor Jim Strickland wrote a joint letter to the Tennessee Department of Transportation, petitioning them to focus more on roads like 412 that many will be using to get to work at Blue Oval City in the next few years. Blue Oval City and Ford is putting in $5.6 billion into West Tennessee. Uh, we need to have roads that people can get to work safely on um, and you know comfortably. And so we're doing our part of the city, uh, utilizing the resources that we have to be able to invest in city streets. We just need some equitable investment from the state on the state routes. The letter used data collected by TDOT to point out that state roads in West Tennessee are not maintained to the same level as the rest of the state. Over 5% of miles in District 4 are in poor condition, compared with less than 1% in the other three districts. But what do these percentages really mean? 439 miles of state routes in Region 4 are in poor condition, while only 45 are in the other three districts combined. A lot of people complain to the city about roads that are actually the state's responsibility to maintain. So we've had a lot of complaints. I mean, I think North Parkway and, and 412 are our two biggest uh, road complaints. And so I think people oftentimes misunderstand when, when they tell them we've, we've repaved 180 streets in two years, say, well, North Parkway and 412 isn't, isn't repaved. Well, that's, that's a state, those are state routes that need to be repaved by TDOT. And drivers are continuing to speak up. Um, everyone drives every day to work. Everyone takes their kids to school. You know, we're on the road constantly. So that is, you know, our livelihood in a sense is driving every day. So I feel like the roads definitely need to be fixed. Many took to Facebook when Mayor Conger posted the letter to share their thoughts on the roads. 39 News reached out to TDOT and they said they received the letter today and are discussing it. But we have not received any word yet. Mayor Conger says he is hoping for the best. You know, we hope to at least get some, some equity in the distribution of the funds and repaving. 39 News will continue to update you if and when TDOT responds to the letter. For 39 News, I'm Alexander Bitterling.